Welcome to Newton Stories. Today I'll be reading The Snow Queen and this story has been retold by Lucy M. George. In a little town not so far from here lived a boy and a girl. They were best friends and their names were Kay and Gerda. Kay and Gerda lived next door to one another. From their windows they would play games, pass secret notes and talk all day and whisper all night. Everywhere they went, they went together. Everything they did, they did together. And every secret they had, they told each other. Every single one. Kay loved the spring and Gerda loved the autumn and they both loved the winter. At the first sight of snow, they would drag Kay's wonky old sledge to the hill and then ride it all the way to the frozen lake, falling off into the soft snow and laughing as they went. When it was cold enough, the lake froze so thick that the children could skate on it. One day, some of the older children started talking about an evil queen, a queen who lived in the frozen hills, a queen who lived in a palace of ice. The Snow Queen. She comes down here to steal children, said one boy. She blows enchanted snow in your face, then you have to go with her. My grandmother told me she steals you from your bed and you can never come back because she makes you so cold you forget who you are and where you live. Kay was scared of the stories about the Snow Queen and he told Gerda on the way home. Nothing could ever make me forget you, promised Gerda even if your heart was frozen and no one remembered you and you didn't even know who you were. Even then, I would remember you, I promise. And so they carried on up the hill, throwing snow and laughing and dreaming of the hot chocolate that awaited them at home and all thoughts of the Snow Queen had gone. One night, Gerda had a terrible nightmare. She was lost in the forest, shouting for Kay, but he was so far away. He seemed to be in another world. There was a reindeer trying to help her, but just as she was about to touch it, she woke up with a start. She hurried into her winter clothes and went outside to meet Kay, but he wasn't there. No one was. Instead, there was only a set of wonky sledge tracks, Kay's sledge tracks, and instead of leading down to the lake, they were leading up to the frozen mountains. Gerda rushed to Kay's door, but when his mother answered it, she didn't know a boy called Kay. No one knew a boy called Kay. She pictured Kay alone and afraid. She knew what she had to do. Gerda didn't think about how far she would have to go. She just followed the tracks all the time thinking of her friend and how afraid he must be. She walked for many hours and snow began to fall covering the tracks that Kay's sledge had left. The harder she tried to picture Kay's laughing face, the harder the snow fell, and the harder it became to follow the tracks. She stood in the midst of a thick bracket of nettles, and she could only guess which way to go now. Just as she felt all hope drain from her, something light seemed to move in the darkness. A reindeer! It was warm and seemed so kind and gentle. Gerda was sure it was the reindeer from her dreams. It was trying to help her. She climbed onto its back and it leapt forwards, carrying her easily over the uneven frozen ground. They pushed further and further into the frozen mountains. And just when Gerda thought that they couldn't get any higher, they turned a corner. An enormous palace of ice came into view. Gerda could only gasp. Oh, it was the Snow Queen's palace. It was true. She took a deep breath thought of Kay. Oh, how afraid he must be. Then she set off alone across the frozen wasteland, turning only to wave fondly at the reindeer. Sooner than she had wished, Gerda was walking through the cold corridors of the Snow Queen's palace, silently padding over the frozen floor, desperately seeking Kay. Strange noises echoed around the empty halls. Then she saw something. It was Kay. He was sitting on the cold floor, staring into thin air. Kay, it's me, she cried. But Kay just stared at her, confused. Kay! 
Gerda started shaking him, but he looked at her blankly. Gerda was helpless. She pulled at him as if to try and drag him, but he was like a dead weight. Finally, she fell to the floor, put her arms around her friend and sobbed. As she cried, her warm tears fell onto Kay, and something happened. Kay's frozen heart began to melt, and the Snow Queen's evil spell was lifted. Finally, he knew who he was. Kay smiled and laughed at his friend. You remembered me! Suddenly, the Snow Queen appeared, screaming and trying to snatch Kay back from Gerda. No! she screeched wildly. You cannot take him, he is mine! She was furious, but when she tried to grab Kay, he was so warm that her cold hands burned as she touched him. There was no time to waste. They sped through the palace halls and burst out into the fresh air. The palace of ice had disappeared, and with it, the Snow Queen too. She had been defeated, and never again would she be able to steal children. No one ever forgot what Gerda had done for her friend, and especially not Kay. Would you always remember your best friend? Would you be brave enough to save them from the Snow Queen? I bet you would. Thank you.